Hey everybody, today's video is a little bit different. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you just a quick tour of my music room. And as you can probably see behind me, there's been a bit of a change. So uh, my wife uh, surprised me and picked this amazing record shelf up for me. Uh, and now I'm able to have almost all of the records that I own in one room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take my iPhone and uh, give you just a short little tour of uh, the two record shelves, uh, this one that's been here for a long time, and this other one that is the new addition. So I'll show you what the record shelves uh, currently uh, hold. Uh, I'll also show you uh, a quick, just a quick look at my, uh, my record player that I have out here. So uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the record shelf that you see in all of my videos. This is a shelf I've had for quite a long time now, over 10 years, and this has all of art, the artists from A to E. So uh, obviously the Beatles are included in here. So the Beatles are the top three uh, cubes, basically. All Beatles stuff. And this is where I film uh, my uh, videos. So I put the camera down there on the floor. I sit right there. And uh, as you can see, this is my record player. And for those asking, this is a dual 1218. Uh, and uh, it's like a late 60s, early 70s. It belonged to my grandparents. Then I have a CD player here that I don't use all that much. And then I have my Kenwood solid state amplifier. Uh, it's like a mid 70s. And uh, there's my speakers as well. They are KEFs and uh, they're also 70s, I believe, and they do the job. But really the whole point of this is to show the brand new record shelf so my wife uh picked this up for me because she wanted to uh really kind of just rearrange our apartment and save some space because before i had uh three actually six record shelves i believe uh but now i was able to consolidate um the rest of the record collection so this is uh artists uh starting with f all the way down to z and then also with some box sets that are down on the bottom. So let's take a look at this shelf. So obviously on top here we have the uh, Beatles in stereo box set that um, doesn't really fit on any other shelf, so it's up there right now. I don't know if it's going to stay there. And the next to it is the Beatles singles collection, which um, I am a big fan of. This is a 1964 uh, clock that belonged to my grandparents that I need to uh, rewind but it's something I really really like these are a couple of a couple of sailors then I've got just some various Beatles 45s and EPs and stuff like that gonna go through those let's go over here though so here are the shelves uh, and so like I said these are artists um, starting with F so you've got actually there's a couple of Ever Everly Brothers there as well so I guess it's the end of E <laughs> And it goes all the way across. There's some Jimi Hendrix. Got some uh, Kinks, Led Zeppelin. Paul McCartney starts at the top right there. Continues down here with his Wings work. Some of the McCartney archive collection. Oh, by the way, I skipped John Lennon. He was before Paul, of course. And you keep moving along here. I got some Harry Nielsen, Nirvana, uh, Elvis Presley, Radiohead. Down here we got Rolling Stones, uh, Paul Simon, Steely Dan, Ringo Starr, um, keep going, keep going, Stevie Wonder, uh, Neil Young, Neil Young and Zombies, and then there are the box sets down here, the newer box sets, some other artists, Beach Boys, Bob Dylan. George Harrison, Paul McCartney, and then here are some Beatles CD box sets that I have. Let me get my finger out of there. And the last cube is just various stuff that eventually will get filled with other box sets. So this is the new record shelf, and I'm very happy with it in our living room here. For those asking, um, we got it at Ikea, and... Uh, 
I'll put a description or I'll put a link down in the uh, description so you can check it out for yourself for prices and the dimensions and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, very happy with it. It's nice to have uh, all of my records in one space. So there you go. So that was just a short little tour of this room that holds all of all of my records. And uh, yeah, and this new shelf that I'm so happy to have, and it's so nice to have all of the records in one spot. Now I do still have a, a few miscellaneous records in like the closets and some other rooms, but as far as my core record collection, it's now all out here, and it's really really fun to uh, just have it all just within within reach. So. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, by the way, some of you have been asking me, why are you always sitting on the floor? Why am I sitting on the floor? Well, there's a couple of reasons why I do this. First of all, um, it just, it's comfortable for me. I, I sit on the floor all the time. It's just something I do. Uh, also, I like the way it looks. I like being right next to the records. Um, it helps me when I'm making videos. Sometimes I can just pull out a record. Uh, usually, if it's a Beatle record, that's usually what I talk about, right? So I can pull out uh, certain pressings with no no problem at all. So that's why I sit on the floor. Also, it just it looks different. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a lot of other people on YouTube are sitting on the floor talking directly to you. So that's the reason. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, take care. Bye for now.